We need the indoor situational awareness to be able to save lives. On the power generation side, a big concern is that we're saving somebody from harm's way. If officers don't know what they're walking into, it puts them in a, in a very precarious or critical position. If they could see, well, that changes everything. I want to be able to fire the drone up and go. I want onboard lights built in. I don't want to have to buy accessories. I don't want to have to MacGyver things together. Not every patrol officer has the time or the ability or the skill level to go out there and learn how to fly an FPV drone. You could perch something like that on a countertop and start a negotiation through the drone. The ability to communicate back and forth with the suspect is a big deal. Down on the ground, hands out where I can see them. One bump on the wall and your lighting's gone, and then it might lose GPS, so you might not even be able to get it back. So durability is a big deal. Having clear signal is critical because if I can soft search the house and then relay back to that team that's going to come in, then they know what to expect in real time and can focus on the scene. If our operators don't have a live stream of the video, then we're dependent on using just the radio. And again, it's always better to see what you're going to face or the structure you're going to enter rather than hear a description over the radio. If we had remote operations in an indoor drone, we could have someone simply turn it on and then pass off control to remote pilots and support the tactical teams in real time. I envision being able to see all of my fleet drones in one platform. If you had one platform that flew a couple different drones, that makes training and teaching so much easier. I don't like to necessarily just say that it's only for indoor use. The same drone that could be used for indoor can also be used for confined spaces. When I think of close proximity drones, I of course think of the form factor to be able to fit into a multitude of confined spaces. It should be capable enough for most scenarios because the primary goal is safety. Success for us is that everybody that deployed on the mission goes home safely. The equipment can be replaced, but people just can't be replaced. We're there to protect the community, so the safer we can do it and with more tools, the better. Mm -hmm.